Okay, let's go for the next one. If all the words having five letters formed using the letters of the word small and arranged as in a dictionary, then the position of the word small is. So, let's start this one. First, we write the letters as A, L, L, M, S. Now, words starting with A. This is simply 4 factorial by 2 factorial that is 12. Right? Next, words starting with L. This is 4 factorial that is 24. Then, words starting with M. This is again 4 factorial by 2 factorial that is 12. Then comes S. Our word is also starting with S. So, we fix this term and we go for the next letter. So, we write words starting with S A. We find when two letters are fixed, it is 3 factorial by 2 factorial that is 3. Next, S L words with S L. This is 3 factorial that is 6. Right? Next would be next is S M A L L. That is our required word. So, we simply find before small there are 12 plus 24 plus 12 that is 48 plus 3 51 plus 6 57. There are 57 words before this word. So, the rank is 58. So, the correct option is option 3. Right? Moving to the next one. Limit n approaching to infinity n plus 1 into n plus 2 up to 3n divided by n to the power 2n whole raised to the power 1 by n is equal to. Let us try this one. It is given limit n approaching to infinity n plus 1, n plus 2 and so on up to n plus 2n divided by we can write denominator as 2n times product raised to the power 1 by n. Let us consider the term as lambda. Right? Now, taking log, we can see this is log lambda equals limit n approaching to infinity 1 by n summation r equals 1 to 2 n log n plus r by n. So, we can see here log 1 plus r by n term is available. We can read it as integral 0 to 2 log 1 plus x dx. Simply integrate and substitute the limits to get the required result. Right? So, plus 1 minus 1 substitute it simplifying equals 3 log 3 minus 2 just integrate and substitute the limits. Now, this is log lambda. The question is about lambda. Therefore, lambda is obtained as 27 by e square. So, we can see from the given options, option 1 is correct. So, this is clear. Okay, Let us move to the next one. Okay, let us move to the question number 58. If the sum of the first 10 terms of the series, the given one is 16 by 5 m, then m is equal to. So, let us start this one. We can see the given series, this is 8 by 5 whole square plus 10 plus 2, that is 12 by 5 whole square plus 16 by 5 whole square plus 20 by 5 whole square and so on. Right? 
the sum of first 10 terms is given to me 16 by 5 m. So, if I take 4 by 5 whole square common, I will be left with 2 square plus 3 square up to 11 square, this sum as 16 by 5 m. We can see if I add and subtract 1 square here, that is right here 1 square plus and minus 1 square, so that I can write the sum of squares of first 11 terms. This gives me 4 by 5 whole square multiplied with 11 into 12 into 23 upon 6 minus 1 is equal to 16 by 5 m. Simplifying, we get the value for m as 101. So, this is clear. So, from the given options, option 1 is correct. Right, let us move to the next one. If one of the diameters of the circle, the given one, is a chord of a circle S, whose center is at minus 3 comma 2, then the radius of circle S is. One of the diameters of this given circle, this one, is a chord for another circle whose center is at minus 3 comma 2, right. For the given circle, we can see the center is at 2 comma minus 3. So, we can find this distance between the two centers, we have the radius of the given circle that will give us the radius of the required circle. So, just simplify this part. Let us say this center be C1, this be C2, right? Radius of the given circle, this is simply square root of 4 plus 9 plus 12, that is 5, right? Distance between the centers, this is square root of 2 plus 3, 5 square that is 25 plus 25 that is 5 root 2. So, the radius of the required circle say capital R, this can be obtained square root of 50 plus 25 that is 5 root 3. So, from the given options, option 1 is correct. So, this point is clear. Okay, let us move to the next one. Okay, let us move to the next one that is the last. A man is walking towards a vertical pillar in a straight path at a uniform speed. At a certain point A on the path, he observes that the angle of elevation of the top of the pillar is 30 degree. After walking for 10 minutes from A in the same direction, at a point B, he observes that the angle of elevation of the top of the pillar is now 60 degree. Then the time taken by him in minutes from B to reach the pillar is. So, simple one from height and distance. Let us consider the height B H, the distance between B and the pillar say M b x. Let us consider he is walking at a uniform speed of v unit per minute, right. So, we can say from a to b, this is 10 v, the distance travelled, this is clear, okay, where v is his speed. So, we can see here this angle given to me 30 degree, next is 60 degree. So, simply applying h by x is tan 60 that is root 3, while h by x plus 10 v is equal to tan 30 degree that is 1 by root 3. Dividing the two, we can see h by x upon h by x plus v giving me x plus 10 v upon x equals 3. This is clear? Okay. So, simplifying we are getting here x plus 10 v 
is equal to 3x or x is equal to 5v. So, this is clear. Now, the question is find the time taken by him from b to m. Time taken by him. The distance is x, speed is uniform that is v. So, simply we get the time taken as x by v that is 5 minutes. So, from the given options we can see third option is correct, option 3 is correct. So, this point is clear. So, this is all about today's J main 2016 paper. Thank you.